quickly is emerging in the case of the suspected Gilgo Beach serial killer. Police investigating whether this man could be connected to other murders, other unsolved cases on Long Island, New York. A Rex Hewerman appearing in court Wednesday for a pretrial hearing. He is charged with killing three women. He's also the prime suspect in the disappearance of a fourth. Now prosecutors say the case against him could grow to include other bodies found along the shore there on Long Island. Criminal defense attorney Bernarda Villalona is here live with us. Uh, thank you so much, uh, Bernarda, for being here again. It's been a little while, so good to have you back. It, it was disclosed earlier this year. We know uh, Rex Huerman has pled not guilty, but prosecutors had DNA collected from pizza crust from 13 years ago. I don't know how they did that. Uh, that ties him to one of the murders. His defense team is disputing the DNA match. So exactly what will it take to poke holes in that kind of evidence? Exactly. So it looks like from now what it's going to end up being at the time of trial, if there is a trial, that there's going to be a battle of the experts because the defense is disputing the DNA that was recovered from the pizza crust and essentially from the burlap that was used to cover these women mm. who were killed years ago, over 10 years ago. So that's where we're at now. But the strategy can change because they're still in the early stages of going through the discovery and the documents and the evidence that has been turned over by the the prosecution. You have to think that the defense is just getting these documents just in the last couple of weeks or so, while the prosecution has had years to go and develop this evidence as well as to put together all these documents. At this point, do we have any other information uh, from investigators as to what ties him to these other women who he's charged with killing? So in terms of the other women, remember that he's only been charged with the death of three women, and he's charged with murder in the first degree, which carries a sentence of penalty of up to life in jail without the possibility of parole, because in state court here in New York, the death penalty is not a penalty. So in terms, even if Rex Human is charged with the murders of the other women that were bodies were recovered in Long Island, it doesn't change the sentence. If anything, it can be a consecutive sentence, but Come on, you only have one life to live. So it'll be some time before we find out whether he is going to be charged with the deaths of other women. But for now, he's being charged with these three women, and the penalty is still the same. And the charge is still the same of murder in the first degree, unless the federal government steps in and decides to charge him with a federal crime, which I don't see that happening in and, this case. And just as a reminder, and correct me if I'm wrong, but these women, almost all of them, if not all, were sex workers. Uh, at least it was proven by the defense, or rather by the prosecution, uh, expanding this case uh, to include other bodies, other unsolved cases on Long Island, what exactly would they have to find to tie him to those killings? Because, I mean, sadly, there are bodies that are found, but not necessarily all linked to the same person. Exactly. So for them, the prosecution and law enforcement in general, to be able to tie those other bodies to Rex Human, they have to find a direct link and evidence that can be actually put before a jury that's strong enough to find him guilty beyond a reasonable doubt. Because the mistake that the prosecution doesn't want to make is tacking on these other homicides and there being a weak link, mm -hmm. because that weak link can actually make a mess for the strongest case of those three homicides that they've already charged him with. So they need to be very strategic and very confident in whatever decision they make. But in terms of, you have to think that we're talking about over a decade ago, because the women that he's been charged with is from 2009 and from 2010. So you really need that direct link. Do you have an eyewitness? You can use an eyewitness, or do you have any kind of DNA evidence? Do you have video? Do you have phone recordings? Do you have admissions? Mm -hmm. Do you have a statement by Rex Human. These are the different types of evidence that can directly link him to these other women that is strong enough for a prosecutor to actually charge him with those uncharged crimes. But even though he's not charged with them, doesn't mean that they can't present it in evidence in court because they can also do it with other crimes that are uncharged. Yeah, and certainly uh, this is such a gory case. Again, uh, we're hoping it gets resolved quickly that information is available to those investigators. Bernardo Villalona, thank you so much for stopping by. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.